What is up, guys? It is your boy, Main Mania, and welcome back to another episode of Mortal Kombat Mobile. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. After the horse shit known as Battle 160, it made me not even want to play this tower anymore. Uh, I've been really frustrated since then. I'm not going to lie. Like, I cannot tell you the last time something made me so frustrated and annoyed in a game uh, I, that was probably the most unfair thing i think i've ever seen in any game much less a mobile game um it wasn't a good feeling man like even beating it i didn't even feel good when i beat it it didn't even feel good when i beat it and once again i'm a veteran with a very robust collection right when i play battles like that i think about all the people that aren't veterans. I think about all the newer players that they're still trying to build a collection, still trying to grow a collection. And it's just very frustrating that WB keeps doing stuff like that because those, those battles are borderline impossible for newer players. Like if you didn't have Day of the Dead Jade, you could not kill that Shang Tsung. Hey, listen. He just kept healing every single damage that you did to him with one attack he's back to full health it, it was it was just so ridiculous and you know i get it it's a boss battle but i just think the boss battles need to be more fair so today we're gonna tackle boss battle 180 and i'm just not looking forward to it after what happened with 160 but before we do that let's go ahead and collect our faction war rewards i was master but I figured I didn't play for the last four hours, so I'm pretty sure I probably dropped down at the champion. I was like in the high 70s of master, but I didn't play for like the last four and a half, five hours of the season, which means that I probably got bumped down to like maybe around 120, 130 to finish off the season. Not a big deal, but it is what it is. Um, we did get a support card for Devora. Devora is not really one of my favorite characters in the game. I don't really play her too much, but um you know she's got a couple of decent buffs she can be good for a couple of builds um just not really one of my favorites to play we got a support card for scorpion which is awesome because i love scorpion and um i think both cold war scorpion hanzo ashashi and mk11 scorpion are some of the strongest damage dealers in the game they're all amazing not a big fan of kentaro plays very similar to goro basically just a uh, a reskin to be honest with you uh, they play almost identical, but not too crazy about him. He can do damage, though. He can do damage. Lin Kuei. Yay! I love Bron's character support cards. How'd you know? It's my favorite. Thank you, WB! Shang Tsung. A nice support card for a character we don't have. We were just talking shit about him, too. Uh, guys, 160. That was just unacceptable. You know, when developers put stuff like that in their games, I wonder if they're trying to actually make an interesting boss fight or if they're just trying to frustrate their player base. And to be honest with you, I think they're just trying to make people spend real money to pay to win. I think they try to make some of those battles so impossible that you feel the only way you can beat them is to start buying character cards and buying souls to build up your collection so you have a chance even with my almost maxed out top characters the fight was still damn near impossible so um do not spend mo real money on this game guys for the hundredth time do not spend real money on this game it's just not worth it we did get uh, another accessory uh to our terminator equipment card this is going to increase our max health boost to 23 percent and the good thing about this is that fusion x it will give us an sp2 for the cost of sp1 just like the rusty chainsaw um and ermac soul medallion so that is uh pretty pretty strong uh johnny's equipment also does that as well these cards are very good for characters that have really strong special twos um so if you have a, ca a card that has a really really strong special two these are the types of cards at Fusion X that you definitely want to put on those characters because you only want to use their special twos. We'll fuse that. Bladed Whips is already uh, maxed. And now for the duplicate. Can you please give me something really good, please? Please. 
I can't win. To the tower we go. <laughs> Guys. Oh, it's so annoying. All right. I haven't been looking forward to this, but it's... Let's just do it. We got to get it done. We got to get it done. Here we are. Boss fight 180. You've got a boss Cold War Scorpion, Cold War Sonya, and MK11 Scarlet. MK11 Scarlet can heal. We got to make sure she doesn't get any kills. Uh, boss Cold War Sonya is going to give uh, Scorpion a shield. So we're going to have to break that immediately. Uh, we're running with the same boss team layout of Johnny and Jade being my two damage dealers. And Ermac strictly for his um, Soul Siphon uh, DLT that uh, does affect bosses. Uh, I've mentioned it before. Knowing WB and how impossible they like to make this game. I do think they're going to nerf that. I do think they're going to do exactly what they did to Treacherous Tanya. And I just, I don't think it's fair, but I 100% expect it of them. Fight. So, all right. First thing we want to do is we want to break Scorpion's shield. See if we can get a snare. Impressive. We did get the snare. I want to tag in Jade, even though she's not a better damage dealer. What I want to do is I want to see if I can do as much damage as I can with her. Oh my God. One combo. We got a block. I didn't get the block. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted... Oh, my God. All right. We got to tag her out. I tried to power drain, but she got it over me. Broke her shield. We're going to see if we can do some damage here. Get a snare. We did not get a snare. Johnny does do more damage than Jade. I don't know why I tag him out. I wanted to get some dodges for Jade because if I could get enough dodges for her, she could have been absolutely devastating. But we're going to stick to Johnny because I want to kill Sonya. Sonya is my top priority to kill because she's going to take away that shield if I can get her out against. I want to snare her again, so I'm going for my special too. I don't want her tagging out. My priority there was to make sure she did not tag out. So far, <clears throat> I needed to power drain her. I don't know if I should x-ray or try to go for... I'm going to x-ray. I'm going to x-ray even though I was better off doing three special ones. Because I don't want her to die. I want to snare her again. The priority is getting her out. Once again, if I get her out, she has no shield. She has no shield. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is bad. She snuck that attack in, but I sacrificed the power drain for the snare and I paid for it. I'm going to have to tag in Jade. She's all I got. And we're going to try to finish her off with two special ones. No. No. Oh, no, no, no. That did nothing. You have 10 seconds to get her killed. And my special one is doing nothing. And then she tags out. Oh, God. Impressive. Couldn't get the kill on Sonya, man. Kills me inside. I would have loved to get that kill on Sonya. We got a duplicate soul medallion. One of my favorite equipment cards. If I could have gotten that kill on Sonya, I could have put in some work on Scorpion. But hopefully we'll be able to do this in the five battles. I'm not 100% sure at this point. MK11 Scarlet is going to be a problem. I think we played very smart right there. I did sacrifice a power drain on Sonya, and that ended up costing me my Johnny. And I probably could have just stuck with that. But once again, my priority was making sure she was not able to tag out. So this is going to cost us our shield here. I mean, our first bet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My buttons didn't register. Shit. My wire got into the way in. My uh, special didn't register. My button taps. Screen taps. 
I almost missed that. Can we get? We have a snare already. All right. We're just gonna do work. I'm not gonna go for any intentional snares because I do want to kill Sonya, but I need her to tag in first. Um, Johnny seems to be melting Scorpion. I think we can kill Scorpion. If I snare him, he's dead. Which is phenomenal. Johnny is... I forgot that he... Doesn't he do more damage versus Netherrealm? See, these are the things that you really need to know. And remember, I think Undead Johnny, aka Strike Force Johnny, I think he does extra damage versus Netherrealm. He is annihilating this Scorpion. This Scor... I, I, I almost should have done this first. I was so worried about making sure I can get Sonya out. I wasn't realizing that. I should have kept Johnny in for Scorpion the whole time. You probably have a special ready. I'm not messing with you. She cannot get a kill. That's where she will start recovering and probably put it in my butt, so. She is snared. We're just gonna work her with Johnny. I want to tag in Jade, but Johnny is just melting. So I'm just going to let Jade keep collecting what you call it. Oh my God. None of my button taps are working. Oh my God. Again. That's annoying. At least she didn't heal from it. You have specials ready. Got her. Beautiful. I'm gonna immediately tag you in. Oh no, no, no. I wanna do... Oh God. I'm gonna do an SP2. And then a one. Impressive. I wanted to. Mm. I was gonna do an extra with Ermac, but that was gonna do nothing. <laughs> Not bad. So two fights. I think we could have actually gotten a kill in two fights if we would have killed that Sony in the first one. Um, it's gonna take us three fights though. It, which is awesome. That's freaking incredible. We have to make sure MK11 Scarlet does not heal. As long as she doesn't heal, we win in this. So, um, what does classic my classic Ermax um X-ray actually do damage-wise? 49k. Yeah, that's that's peanuts. That wouldn't have helped me at all. <laughs> that probably would have like moved like a sliver on her. Battle boss 180 is. I don't even want to say 10. It is 100 times easier than Battle 160. Guys, like, you guys have no idea. Like, Battle 160, I'm telling you, man, it literally made me not want to play this game anymore. Like, I, I can't tell you the last time I've been that frustrated in gaming. Like, believe me, you, I play a lot of games that have really frustrating moments. But holy shit, Battle 160 just felt like, like, it just felt like WB spitting in their player base's face. Like, it just, it felt like an intentional, it's like, it just felt like they intentionally wanted you to pull your hair out. Uh, there was nothing fun about it. I didn't feel good beating it because it just felt completely unfair and unrealistic for anybody to be able to overcome that battle. And I, I, I hate when developers do stuff like that. My button presses weren't working again. Thank you, wires. Scarlet should be dead. We just got to make sure we get the kill and she doesn't get a special in, which is why I once again believe Power Drain and Snare are the top two um, debuffs in the entire game. Oh my God. Oh my God. That could hurt me. No. No. Revenant. Oh my God. Oh my God. We can't let her get the kill. We can't let her get the kill. Can't let her get the kill. If she got that kill, she would have healed. Oh, that was close. That was close. 
if she would have gotten that killed kill she would have started healing so man that was close and <laughs> you get a duplicate kotal khan as our prize beautiful i love duplicates guys i got the the, the, the rewards for this tower are just it make no sense to me like you know like wb if you want to make your player base happy right there's two things I think you should do to the towers and the rewards in the towers. One, I think it should be that when you beat boss fights, you can't get duplicates. So you can only get gold characters you don't already have. And when you beat battle 200, you should not be able to get a diamond character that you already have unless you have all of the possible rewards. I personally think if they want to do right by their player base, they should implement things like that. It nothing feels worse than slaving through 200 battles to get a duplicate. It doesn't make any sense. Like, this is what I mean about the tedious grind of this game, guys. Do not spend real money on this game. I don't want to sound overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly negative, but do not spend real money on this game. I should have tagged in my Day of the Dead katana, but as you can tell, just talking about these boss fights and just getting duplicates for everything, duplicate, equi duplicate equipment, cards, duplicate everything. It's just so frustrating for me. It's so frustrating because like, I've barely gotten any tower equipment. I'm on, I'm on boss, I'm on fight one. I'm gonna snare, I mean, I'm gonna, uh, whatchamacallit immediately, power drain, because I just don't trust this scorpion using his special. He'll probably wipe me with one special. Now we're in the big leagues with the regular fights. Join your feet down. Well, that's the reason why I want Thunder God Raiden, boys. That is literally the reason why I want Thunder God Raiden. Him and Ravidus Molina have the best Hagens in the whole game, if you ask me. They can tag in with a special two, and you are instantly deleted from the match. They tag in with their, you know, unblockable tag-ins, and they hit you with one special, and you are just instantly deleted from the match. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought he was going to do a special two. His special two was one of the best in the game, if not the best in the entire game. I can't even power drain you. I'm going to go for it. I know it's going to overbuff you, but I need heals. Woo! We got the heals. Now you're dead. I'm just doing this to buy time for uh, Jade. This is why I needed to tag him out. Oh my god, can Ermac carry? Nope. Come on, Ermac! Do something, my boy! You ain't no punk, bitch! Come on, Ermac! You ain't no punk, bitch! Yeah, you a punk, bitch. <laughs> a punk bitch <laughs> oh ermac it's all good my boy you did what you could if you caught that special you probably could have got a kill ermac ain't getting no kills he's just he's just there for his passive man but listen you got to have a classic ermac in these towers wb do not nerf ermac you will literally make this game unplayable for new players they will not be able to get past like probably the third or fourth boss fight if you do that. And I know what's coming because they did it to Treacherous Tanya and it was just game over after that. They did it to Treacherous Tanya and it was just gross. Dark magic, who is safe? Only nether realmers are safe. All right, we're gonna go for this. We're not gonna get it, but we're gonna go for this with this team. I know we're gonna lose. We are going to lose this battle. But the reason I'm going to go for it is because the team that I would use for this is Freddy, Quan Chi, and Dark Empress Katana, aka Circle of Shadow Katana. The only reason I'm going for this right now is because I just don't want to rebuild all my equipment. And I will need to move all my equipment that I have on these guys over to those characters. But we're going to go for it anyways and see if we can get lucky with Katana's regen keeping Jade sustainable and Johnny's uh, special one, you know, snaring. We can get some snares with Johnny's special one and then Katana can keep Jade afloat. We have a chance. So we're going to go for it. But once again, the team I would use for this is Freddy Krueger, 
uh, warlock Quan Chi so he can give them both a um give one of them an opportunity for a uh, a resurrection and then I would use Dark Empress Katana Circle of Shadow Katana as my other damage dealer but we'll go for this as is let's see what we do I just don't want to move all my equipment cards around right now I just kind of want to end <laughs> this um it's going to take too much time. So we'll go for it. I hate this character. And she's got regen. Oh, God, no. Oh, oh no. Oh. And I lost my special. And she snared me. Am I too far? No. Yes, we got one kill. That's okay. We got one kill. You're poison immune, but I'm still going to go for my special two. For the damage. And because I know I can follow it up with a special one for free. Oh, no, he's not poison immune. I think he's bleed immune. All right. I wanted some dodges with Jade. We got one. We're gonna go immediately. Oh my God, no, no. We got two, awesome. Now, if I can get my special two here, no. I need Revenant. Oh God, Revenant save me. It's a chance, boys, it's a chance. Jade is healing. Jade is healing. You're going to get poisoned. I'm going to follow this up with a special one. Oh, my God. Well, no. Oh, God, that rocket hurt me. I don't have enough damage with her. Nope. That's game. Oh, no. Oh my god, oh my god, come on. No, no, no! He's so fast. There was a chance. There was a chance. I needed to land a special with Jade and her not die, but unfortunately, we didn't get that. So, we played it well. Uh, it's just that dark magic really did um, overcome us. So, I think we can definitely do this battle. I definitely think we can do this battle with this team. Uh, it would just require me starting off with more finesse on my Johnny. I missed one of my specials on Johnny because Jade used an attack that hit me away from her. And that was probably the moment that I lost because I needed to hit that special um, to save Johnny as much health as I possibly could. But in the end, like I said before, I think this battle will be 10 times easier if I simply uh, add in those three characters and move my equipment around. Um, which I may or may not do, but I definitely think this team can get the job done. So I'm pretty sure I'll probably just stick with this team. So guys, that is going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed Boss Battle 180. Let me know how you guys feel about the Cold War Tower and just these specialized towers in general. Do you feel like the fights are fair? Do you feel like they're being difficult to be difficult? Or do you think that they are purposely, purposefully trying to just frustrate their player base almost in an attempt to force them to spend real money to be able to beat these battles i can promise you this spending real money and buying more character cards is not going to increase your chances of beating these battles they are that hard and that difficult and you are talking to somebody that has a collection of diamonds as you can see here fully maxed out x fusion level 60 so many character cards and i'm telling you right now at the end of the day it's not going to help you i mean it's going to help but it's not going to guarantee you victory so don't think that pay to win is a legitimate strategy in this game and i know it's tedious but you just got to grind get your souls do your challenges do all the things that i recommend in each video and it, it will work out you know make sure you guys go for mournful katana make sure you do towers three four and five because they all offer souls as bonuses throughout the fights and 
three and five give you souls at the end as well the 46 and the 65 for the uh, level two make sure you beat this on all three levels including elder guys you got to do what you got to do um to help boost your collections you know i definitely hope that you guys are uh are are liking my advice and uh you guys want me to cover more content or you guys have any questions guys don't be shy to ask questions in the comment section below uh more than happy to help and more than willing to um give you guys some pointers whenever i can so once again i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um if you haven't yet hopefully you have but if you haven't yet go ahead and smash that like button and make sure to check out my playlist uh, so you guys can look at some of my other content and some of the other games that I play. I'm positive you guys are going to find some stuff that you love. If you're not sure what to watch, go check out my one-offs playlist. Once again, it's got so much different types of, um, of, of videos in there. So many different games, live reactions, reviews, um, you know, one-offs. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy some of the videos in that playlist. If not, almost all of the videos in that playlist so check it out check out my content don't forget to hit that like button let me know what you think about everything that i talked about in this video in the comment section below and i look forward to reading your comments it's your boy main mania thanks for watching and i'm out peace